I quit my nine to five job seven years ago to become a full-time trader right now some people thought I was crazy <laughs> actually everybody thought I was crazy let's go back in time a little bit tell you about it so I've been in the financial world for 27 years right? financial advisor managed over a hundred million dollar portfolio all my securities license which basically for those of you that don't know what that is that just allow me to manage other people's money right sold insurance life insurance disability insurance health insurance all that good stuff and i was rolling look i, I was a nine-time texas million dollar roundtable producer and then i took over my local office i built it to the largest life insurance office the country and I was banking now on the side I was learning how to trade I started to learn how to trade the stock market first then the options market then the forex market 2007 so about 17 years ago but I was just doing it part-time and uh, you know just nobody really knew I didn't really tell anybody that I was trading I was just trading learning how to grow the money <laughs> that I was making in the insurance and financial world. So I, uh, I wrote this book, right? A lot of y'all know I, I'm an author. I decided one day, you know what? I'm going to write a book. I'm going to teach people how to trade. Two and a half years later, I wrote that book. And I made it. first of all, everybody who's bought the book, thanks so much. I get a lot of messages. It's sold on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. It's called Trading Part-Time teaching you how to trade for a living well in this case doing it part-time because like I had a job you know that's the number one question I get people say Jeff I got a full-time job how can I trade well, <laughs> I, I tell you that I did it right I traded uh, with a job for years and years so you can do it but anyway right because I, I quit my job right crazy so I was bankrolling had a big office wrote this book right and my company Right before I was about to publish it, they said, hey, man, that's a great that you wrote a book. <laughs> that's awesome. But we're not going to let you publish it. And I was like, what did you say? They're like, yeah, all the strategies that you teach go against the strategies that we do here in this firm. And I thought to myself, first of all, I know you didn't fucking read the book. That book's 420 pages. And you're going to call me in a couple days from compliance and tell me you read the book? Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> you didn't read nothing. And it doesn't even talk about a ton of strategies. It's more about concepts, right, and technical analysis. So anyway, that was a Friday. I was pissed. I'm like, man, I did not work on this fucking book for two and a half years every single day of my life. And let me tell you something. Every day of my life, I worked on this book. And now you're going to tell me from some fucking compliance department that... um yeah, um, you can't, you can't publish the book. Fuck you, bro. It was Friday. So I went home, I thought about it throughout the weekend, and you know what? Came back on Monday and I said, see ya. Now, <laughs> I know they didn't think I would do that, because I was rocking and rolling. We're talking about I was making over 30000 a month. Yep, over 30000 a month, full benefits, and I got a family. And so I said, I'm going to give it all up. And they were like, what the fuck? My wife thought I was on crack. Everybody was like, bro, you're stupid. And I said, look, man, I've been, uh, I've been trading part time. And I think I can do it full time. I mean, I know that if I've been doing as good as I'm doing on a part time basis, what can I do on a full time basis? So that was it. I quit. My nine to five job to become a full time trader. Now that was seven years ago. Seven years ago. So, you know, fast forward to now, was it hard? No, it wasn't. A couple things. I'm not telling you to quit your job to become a trader. Look, that's that's up to you. Not everybody wants to learn how to, you know, make money in the stock market. But uh, I'll tell you what. I started off part time. I started off part time. Learned some strategies, right? Practiced. 
all the things we talk about. Maybe the most important thing is, you know, learning the strategies, learning how the market works. And I had an understanding of how the market works because I was a financial advisor. But, you know, I've had some people tell me, well, yeah, but you're a financial advisor. And uh, that's why you can trade. Look, time out. It has nothing to do with it. Financial advisors, first of all, they don't know shit. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> when I was a financial advisor, I didn't know shit. I passed the test, had my piece of paper, and I'm like, I'm a fucking financial advisor. Rule, just let you in on a little secret. Financial advisors don't know shit. They don't know nothing. All they know how to do is take your money, go give it to the company, and then the company manages it and tells them what to do, right? God, fucking financial advisor. But when I started to learn how to trade, that's when I really started to understand the market, right? Technical analysis, option trading, how can you profit? Like the big boys. So I picked up a couple strategies. And I knew that whenever I uh, left, all I had to do was go for it, right? Go for it. Started rocking and rolling. Then I started this YouTube channel, right? Now, I'm going to be honest. When I started this YouTube channel, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. And <laughs> for those of you that watch a lot of my videos, I still don't know what I'm doing. When it comes to YouTube. Now, I'm going to do a lot more talking. Because I got lots of stuff to talk about. Lots of ideas. Lots of concepts. Plus, I'm always got shit on my mind. And I love talking. So, if I got stuff on my mind, I'm just going to flip up my camera and chat with you guys. Because, see if I can, you know, provide some type of encouragement, motivation, shit. Not only that, there's a lot of days where I'm fucking discouraged. I'm sitting in the corner, fucking all pissed off. And you know what? I like to hang out with you and chat. So, uh, I quit, right? And uh, I did this YouTube thing, too. And I, was, I, I wanted to do this YouTube thing, I'll be honest with you, to sell my book. And I don't know any shit about marketing, man. But when I wrote that book and I left my job, I was like, I got to make some, I got to trade. But I didn't know how successful I could be doing it full time. So I was like, I got to sell this book, man. So I started this YouTube channel. And I made a couple of videos, man. I don't know nothing about editing, nothing about thumbnails and... You know what? They didn't really... <laughs> this is a while back. Some of y'all look at my channel and you're like, oh, he's been... I've, I've been doing it for a long time. Yes. I opened the channel a long time ago. I did a couple videos. Didn't know what I was doing. They didn't do anything. I guess I was too busy just trying to sell shit because, you know, I don't know what I was doing when it comes to YouTube. And I said, that's it. I didn't delete the channel, but I didn't do nothing. And I let it there for years. And then, um, I don't know, I started posting again before covid you know right before covid and it was doing good i was talking about a specific strategy and i was actually getting views back in those days 10,000 20,000 views but you know what i don't know shit about youtube wasn't really taking it seriously and then <laughs> yeah, i fucking stopped right because again trading was my full-time job so i had to make money trading and i didn't even know about monetization on youtube i had views on videos never even turned the damn monetization on it wasn't until I met one of my friends at Starbucks one day and he said, Wow, how much you make from YouTube? I'm like, what do you mean making <laughs> what do you mean making money from YouTube? Uh, he's like, your monetization. I said, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh my god. <laughs> I went years. And again, some of those videos back in the days got a lot of views. I went years without even <laughs> turning the monetization on. Oh shit. So but but all beside, right? Now I'm trying to I'm not, it's not that I'm trying to figure this YouTube thing out. Now, I'm just going to share my stuff with y'all. And the bottom line is, if you're in a 9 to 5 job, now, if you're in a 9 to 5 job, I don't want you to quit to become a trader. But if that's something that inter interests you, you can start doing it part-time, right? You can start doing it part-time. And then on this YouTube, there's a lot of people making money. I mean, check out that, that lady Dodash, right? I just ran across her the other day. You know, shit. She's making bank. She wasn't doing shit, and now she's making bank. So there, there is money on YouTube. And, you know, I'm doing this YouTube thing, number one, because I love to talk to people. I love to share what, you know, I'm doing. But also, hey, I love I love trading, man. And I love teaching people and I'm talking to people. We trade on my channel every day. I day trade on this channel. I trade options. And I love hanging out with students and just shooting the shit and trading and making money. And I know YouTube is how I got like 99% of those damn students. So I know YouTube is badass. Now, I suck at it, obviously. I don't get a lot of views. I post a video. It's like 20 views. I get discouraged, man. 
just upset. But I know that's normal. I mean, y'all probably, I don't know if y'all have a YouTube channel, but you know how discouraging that is, right? Shit, posting a fucking video and getting like 10 views after you busted your ass editing and all that. Ah, I digress, right? Y'all know how it is. <laughs> if you got a fucking YouTube channel, you know how it is. Fucking in the corner, dark, like, uh, fucking all shaking and shit because y'all pissed off. Anyway, nine to five, right? So, again, just a little bit of just motivation. Motivation, if you, if you, if you got something on, if you got something, right, that you can do, work at that shit, man. You know, I left it, I mean, I trade full-time, that's all I do. I trade full-time every single day. I trade the stock market. You know, it's me against them, right? And I know there's a lot of ways to make money in the stock market. I've been in this industry for a long time. Okay, there's always a winner and a loser. Somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. So why not you be the winner? Take money from the other people. They do it to you all the time. This market's rigged as fuck. They'll take your money and they won't hesitate. They'll take your retirement account and they'll suck it dry. Right? I don't give a shit about you. So get them back. Right? And then I, you know, I do options. You know, again, that's just the thing. I love the trade. Been doing it a long time. Left my nine to five job to become that full time trader and it's going good. So that's what I do. Right? And I'm gonna come on here every day pretty much, man, and just share with you stories, encourage motivation. Cause I've done a lot. I don't even think y'all know this. If you're still watching right now, <laughs> let me know in the chat. Cause there's probably nobody watching. Right? I don't get no views on my videos anyway. But I tell y'all that are still here. Do you know I've been in four movies four movies yeah so i'm an actor yeah i one of my movies i had a lot of lines man you can download on amazon it's on hulu it's a scary movie right again i wrote a book y'all know that i was a professional baseball player i don't think y'all knew that back in the days i played for the braves right what else did i did well you know that's a lot right there, right? Most people can't say they wrote a book and they've been in a movie. Oh, like I, like I said, I mean, I didn't... Yeah, that all sort of shit. But I love... I'm not... I mean, I still act. That's fun, right? I mean, I love talking on camera. That movie, yeah. So the movie's called The 13th Friday. Not Friday the 13th, but 13th Friday. My name was Terry. I was a, <laughs> I was a drug addict. <laughs> Fucking drug addict and shit. Kind of like now, right? We need a drug doing this YouTube thing. Fucking, we need some drugs. I'm not recommending any drugs. I'm just you know, Tylenol. Right? I need a lot of Tylenol. I got a lot of headaches. I'm back here, kind of just walking around. It's nice and peaceful out here. Hopefully, y'all crush it today. But anyway, nine to five job, right? I quit to become a full time trader. People thought I was stupid, giving up a lot of money. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I gave up a shitload. But you have to understand, too, it's not always about the money. Yeah, we need money to live. I get it. But. As long as you're happy doing what you're doing. I love to trade. I love to teach people. And you know what? I love this YouTube thing. Well, let me go back. I'm starting to. I'm getting a lot of feedback, a lot of love. People are actually making comments, right? But Because this journey has been difficult on YouTube. That's all I'm doing, really. Trading, teaching, and YouTube. Shit. Yeah. Right, I hope this finds you well. We're back here. We're back here at the uh, house after walking around. You have an incredible day. We'll see you guys in the next video.